Hey guys, how are you doing? Today we're going to talk about the outlet oscillator when the amplifier is used as a class C amplifier, not as a class A. I don't think that's discussed much on YouTube, the class C amplifier. Okay, so th this is my transistor NPN, so base, collector, emitter. It's a common common emitter configuration. This is my tank circuit. So you have L1, L2, and the capacitor here. So this is supposed to produce a sine wave with a frequency equal to the resonant frequency, which is 1 over 2 pi times square root of LC. If you were to do a DC analysis of this, you will find that the the voltage at the base, the DC voltage at the base is 0.8 volts. So it's really not ideal if you wanted to use that amplifier as a class A. You would need that bias voltage to be much higher. And as you can see, we are kind of limited here because there's no resistor or capacitor uh, in the uh, emitter leg. Of the transistor so that's why the bias voltage here is 0.8 but let's do an ana analysis so let's simulate this thing let's run it and let's see what we got i'm interested in what's happening at the base and at the corrector which is the output so the output is in blue and as you can see uh, the tank circuit is oscillating and it's not uh, the amplitude stays constant and it's uh, there's not not much distortion so that's good what's interesting is what's happening at the base because at the base so the voltage at the base was 0.8 which is what we got here and then when when it's uh, when the uh, oscillations start it goes down so the the average voltage at the base is now about one minus 1.7 the transistor is operating as a class c amplifier from here going down that way the transistor is off it's completely off it's in a cutoff situation it doesn't do anything the only time the transistor is on is here that flat part here this part, that part, that part, that part, that part, that part, okay? And what's interesting is that it's flat. It's losing the, the top of the sine wave here, okay? It's losing the top of the sine wave. And what does that mean? It means that the transistor is not only on, but it's also saturated. So you have maximum collector current during those uh, events uh, if you want you can uh, you can verify that uh, the transistor is saturated by just looking at the the vce voltage the voltage difference between the collector and the emitter if it's zero it means that the transistor is saturated but here you can tell it's saturated because it's flat otherwise it if it was not saturated, it would you could, you would see the the top of the sine sine wave here. So what does that mean? All this. Let's go into open board. Let me tr let me try to explain what's going on here. Okay, so this is here. Uh, the voltage at the base. This is 0 0.7 or 0 0.8 uh, or 0.6. I mean, it doesn't really matter. And what we are seeing is this. We are seeing this, and then it goes flat, and then it goes down, and then it goes flat again, and then it goes down, etc. We don't have the top of the sine curve, so we are flat instead. This means that when the transistor is on, it is saturated. Okay, so all this part here, below here, all that part here, the transistor is off. So the transistor is on only during those times. Here, 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 
here. So this is time, of course, here. So what does that mean in terms of uh, collector current? Because what what is going to regenerate the tank energy? It's going to be it's going to be the collector current that the amplifier is going to provide to it. That's going to be an impulse, and this is the impulse. So if I draw, so this is IC, so the collector current, and it's so when the transistor is off, which is most of the time. Uh, the, the collector current is going to be zero. Whatever the the transistor brings to the tank is going to be zero. It's going to bring nothing, and then all of a sudden it's going to bring an it's going to give an impulse impulse current zero, another impulse current zero, another impulse current. So it's like an impulse at uh, specific intervals, very brief. And that's enough to keep the tank circuit going. Okay, so the tank circuit is doing most of the work. The transistor is doing very little. It's only giving collector current impulses to the tank circuit regularly, but for a very brief interval of time. Okay, only for this interval of time. Here, impulse, here, impulse, here, impulse, here, impulse. Otherwise, nothing. Nothing happens. The transistor does nothing. Okay? Now, it's hard to explain. I mean, I've, I've made this video many times. And I think four or five times. But uh, let's go back to the... And this is why I said that electronics ain't easy. Because even this circuit that looks really simple... There's very few components, but it's quite complex. And without LT spice and the uh, simulating on LT spice, it's very hard to understand what's going on. Uh, the only way you could, I mean, the only way, if you don't know much about how that thing works, and uh, I mean, I like it, I'm like everybody, I don't really know that much. The only way you can tell what's going on is to see what's happening at the base. Okay, it's what's happening at the base, and the green stuff. And that's how you see that the that that uh, DC, that initial uh, bias value that was one uh, that was point eight, goes down, goes down, and the the transistor is for most of the time off. It's cut off, and then all of a sudden, briefly regularly it turns on and it goes from cut being cut off to being saturated and then you get at the output you get you get those nice sine waves that are that are not perfect but they are not bad for such a simple circuit anyway i'm gonna stop right here because i'm starting to uh, ramble so if you like this kind of uh, content please like comment subscribe it helps the channel and i will try to make more Oh, by the way, this circuit, this circuit comes from um, um, Radio Shack. You know those Radio Shack learning electronics experiments, like 60 experiments, 100 experiments, 200 experiments. This this one is from the 60 experiments. It was basically stuff that was uh, targeted for kids, but uh, I mean. The kids, they have no idea how this thing works. So, I don't know. And and uh, the manual doesn't explain anything. But, uh, I mean... So, I guess the kids, they were not... They were just supposed to, you know, connect the the points and uh, see the result but with, without understanding what was going on, which was kind of uh, not very useful. But anyway, I'm going to stop here. Bye.